Now the answer to a 500-year-old riddle involving one of England's most infamous kings has finally been unearthed from under a car park in Leicester. Last year, archaeologists dug up the site after it emerged that a skeleton may there may be Richard III. After months of painstaking tests, they confirmed that the bones are his. Well, Peter Lane is in Leicester for us now, and an amazing feat, Peter. How do they manage it? Yeah, hi, Emma. Well, they're calling this an astonishing archaeological adventure. They came here looking for the remains of the church they thought Richard might be buried in, and they found the man himself just down there. They were only allowed to dig three trenches, so half a metre out, and they'd have missed him completely. And it turns out he was buried underneath a parking space that was painted with an R because it was reserved, so R marked the spot. For centuries, all we had were portraits of a king, but now Richard III is back. The scientists confirm this skeleton, found under a car park in Leicester, is him. Fatal wounds to the skull and a curved spine part of the evidence jigsaw, along with carbon dating and a DNA link to this man, a descendant of Richard's sister. Finally, the, the result to be confirmed as a... As, as a I guess, I gather from what I was told yesterday, a uh, perfect match. It's, um, it stuns you, to be honest. Richard III ruled for just two years. History paints him as a villain who plotted his way to the throne and had his two nephews murdered in the tower. He was the last English king to be killed in battle at Bosworth, defeated by Henry Tudor. The remains show ten head injuries, but there was no withered arm as Shakespeare had him. The woman who led the search hopes the real Richard will emerge. It's going to change everything, because now that we have the facts about Richard III's physicality, we're now going to take that forward and look at, OK, if they've used that to denigrate Richard and to put that against, you know, blackening his name, what did they also do in terms of his character and his reputation? The next stage of the project will be to unveil a reconstruction of the king's face and to think we might never have seen him. The chances that he could have been, his remains could have been destroyed in the past were very real and things like Victorian outhouses and uh, bits of gardening activity could easily have destroyed the burial. Well, we might simply have carried on parking on top of him and would never have known. We'd never have known, absolutely. However you judge him, a car park isn't fit for a king. Next year, Richard III will be given a dignified resting place in Leicester Cathedral. Peter Lane, 5 News.